Now we go to Trelawney now, where dozens of students in the community of Greentown could again be absent from school this academic year. The students, many of whom are at the primary level, have been missing from school since the pandemic due to poor internet and phone service. We have more in this report. One year and six months, that's how long the country has been battling the pandemic. And for every day that went by since the first case was confirmed in March 2020, many of these children in Greentown near Waitabit Trelawney have not attended a single class. Between 15 and 30, because I was fit in there from about high school, primary. With the new school year now up on us, not much has changed. We don't know what to do. We are confused. The children don't have any access to internet. Yvonne Rowe says her two grandchildren are among the thousands who have been out of school for over a year. And with very poor phone service, she has not been able to communicate with the school. He already said from last year. And books buy everything by his uniforms and until now, he don't see a, a, a school door. And there is no internet because we applied for it and they said they would give it to us. Uh, no, because, because it is given a problem, it seems as if they are afraid to even connect more persons. So I have my digital phone. I'm going to see if I can make a phone call just to see how bad the network is in this community. I'm just going to try and dial customer care. Okay, there you have it. Mobile network not available. I'm going to move to another location just to see if the service is any better. Still same calling. This is not normal. By now I should have been able to get customer care and the call failed. So although I was able to connect this time, the call ended abruptly. Digital phone, loud and clear like that. Digital phone is over eight years now. We don't have any service down here. We go to the office, nearest office to us is Christian. Go there, report it, they are going to do something about it. Sometime when we go only to here, first we are here about that. Moving to higher ground is usually how some people get cell phone and internet service. At first, persons tried to cope, but now... Mentally, uh, sometimes I remember when it was like really challenging, I remember sometimes I used to fling down the book on the floor and sometimes my head used to hurt me to the point where I used to cry. After school I would sit down and I would cry. We are kind of worried right now as it relates to going back online, whether we'll be able to complete our classes. Many of the parents here were hoping that school would have reopened for face-to-face -face classes. But the government has indicated that in order for students to return to school physically around mid-October, at least 65% of students will have to be vaccinated. But in Greentown, the children are below the age limit to take the Pfizer jab. So now they're just hoping the authorities will act and provide better internet and mobile service in the community. I'm not sure what I'll be doing, but I would mostly be going through my books and see what I can understand from there. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News. Now, we've been speaking with teachers in the area who didn't want to be identified in one school, which had an enrollment of 420 students last academic year. Only 150 students attended virtual classes. One teacher also complained that for the entire year, she only had three students. So what's being done differently? Well, schools in the coming weeks will be using guidance counselors to drop off printed learning material to students. However, despite those plans, the teachers tell us it will be a challenging school year due to the large number of students who've been out of the system.